Good afternoon, you absolutely beautiful people. Look at you. Looking good. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you as always for being here. We're Lily Lily Lily. I just had a moment. Nothing's wrong. Everything's okay. We're going to listen to Aztec Camera. I have never heard of the band at all, but it is a really cool name. Uh, you guys have been mentioning the band for quite a long time, and so I'm going to go ahead and give a listen to this track, Oblivious, which is off of their 1983 and debut album, Highland Hard Rain. And honestly, looking at that album cover, it's kind of interesting. It's kind of interesting. It has a coloring book kind of cover to it. Anyways, uh, I don't even know what type of music the band is or... or <laughs> type of music the band is, what type of music the band performs, but some of you that had recommended this were G's O, Sheldon Howells, you mentioned the band as well, Heather O'Hara, SKP, Revelation, Tim Poundstone, GP Reactions, did you recommend this? You're coming up in the list. Uh, <laughs> and then uh, Tim Pindar, so thank you guys so much for the recommendation. Let's go ahead and give it a listen, give it a whirl, we'll talk about it after we've given it the swirl. are a bit bitless, huh? I didn't know what to expect, but still, I'm, I'm slapped silly with a little bit of unexpectedness. Uh, <laughs> how groovy, how fun to listen to. They kind of reminded me of XTC a little bit in that they have like, seems like a deep art pop sensibility to them. Like there's, I'm imagining like a deeper message in the lyrics and the way that everything's presented. Wonderful groove. Like the drumming, so great. I love the use of the toms and like just a... a I kind of twist on a standard beat. 
And then the bass playing, absolutely brilliant. Campbell Owens on the bass and Dave Ruffy on the drums and percussion. Just an, a great uh, sensational rhythm section. Bernie Clark on the piano and organ. I love in the dropout near the, the second third of the song after the solo, how the, uh, the organ comes in like a tide going back out, coming in. Uh, and then the guitar and vocals is Roddy Frame. Really, really liked his, his singing here. Remind me of XTC. Uh, <laughs> but that gets hard playing. Sensational. Just great picking style. It sounds so fluid and, and precise here on, on the music. In the beginning, the solo especially. It sounds like they're having a lot of fun. This was, this was really, really good to listen to. I enjoyed that a lot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, let's get into the, the lyrics on this one, Oblivious. From the mountain tops down to the sunny streets, a different drum is playing a different kind of beat. It's like a mystery that never ends. I see you crying, and I want to kill your friends. I hear your footsteps in the streets. Even as I read the chorus, I'm kind of like singing it in my mind, like, I hear your footsteps in the street. Uh, that's not exactly what you know. It won't be long before we meet. It's obvious. Just count me in and count me out and I'll be waiting for the shouts. Oblivious. So what could the track be about just based off of those lyrics there? Well, it says, you know, from the mountaintops down to the sunny street. So all around, there's a different beat playing. What is this different beat? What are they talking about? Met Mo and she's okay. Said no one really changed. Got different badges, but they wear them just the same. So... It seems like things have changed, but all that's changed is something exterior, just the badges. Down by the ballroom, I recognize that flaming fountain in whose kindred caring eyes. I hope it haunts me till I'm hopeless. I hope it hits you when you go. And sometimes on the edge of sleeping, it rises up to let me know it's not so deep, I'm not so slow. And like a funny film, it's kind of cute. They bought the bullets and there's no one left to, sh to shoot. That's a, funny, that's a funny line. But let's let's look at the Wikipedia article for this one to see if I can find out exactly what this means. There's nothing here except that it managed to chart at number 47 on the UK singles chart. That and But a re-release helped it to get into the top 20, peaking at 18. That's, that's pretty cool. All you got to do is re-release it at a different time. Sometimes that changes your chart positions uh, <laughs> there. But otherwise, I have no idea what this track is about. Especially, it's especially hard when it's my first time listening to the band in general. So I don't know like what what is their typical writing style. I don't know what their their themes are or what they write about generally. So I do take that there's a, a deeper meaning behind this because it can be so symbolically related to anything really. Uh, but I'm just not sure what direction they're kind of taking with that. But I really enjoyed the song. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments down below. Thank you so much for the recommendations. I really appreciate this. Appreciate the suggestion. You can let me know your thoughts down there. Follow me on Twitter. Support the channel on Patreon. Thank you so much for being here. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.